but you're fixing DIYers, it's Walker with DIY.life and in this episode we are going to be replacing the batteries in my Zhiyun gimbal. So this is my Zhiyun Smooth Q gimbal. I got this thing probably almost 10 years ago. Um, it was pretty cool when I first got it, didn't use it a whole lot and soon after getting it the batteries stopped charging so I kind of stopped using it. While this model is the Smooth Q and it's designed to be used with phones and small action cameras, I'd be willing to bet that Zhiyun used the same kind of batteries and the same kind of setup in all of their gimbals. So these steps will apply to pretty much all of their stuff, I'm assuming. So let's get these batteries swapped out and see if we can't get this thing working again. Before I get started, I want to mention that this video is sponsored by iFixit. Go to iFixit.com where you can get all your tools, repair guides, and everything you need to fix your shit. In this video, we're going to be using the TechMat, the Pry tools, uh, the number one screwdriver, and a voltometer is not a bad idea as well. These are your 18650 new batteries. We'll just set those guys off to the side. So this is my Zhiyun Smooth Q gimbal. When I plug it in to charge it, you can see that the uh, charge indicator blinks kind of erratically. And if I let it sit like this, it basically doesn't charge. And when I go to use it, it doesn't work. So we're gonna need to replace these batteries. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna remove that screw from inside the tripod mount on the bottom of the handle. Once that's removed, I like to give it a little squeeze and twist and just kind of start loosening things up a little bit. Then you can get a pry tool in that edge and start to get this thing pulled apart. Now you're gonna to have to work on it a little bit. Uh, definitely recommend using some soft plastic pry tools as this handle can get damaged pretty easily. Uh, once you work your way around, you'll eventually get this thing to crack open and once it cracks open, we're in. If I was a safe cracker, we're in the money, baby. Once we get this thing pried apart, we get access to our battery. And you can see it's a couple of uh, 18650s shrink wrapped together. Let's go ahead and cut the shrink wrapping off and uh, take a look at how this battery is set up. Now it's two batteries and they're soldered together positive to negative, negative to positive. Mark the batteries just to kind of make sure you understand how it all works. And I'm gonna recommend that you discharge your new batteries before you install them. Uh, use your uh, voltometer to find out what the positive and negative uh, terminals are. And then you're gonna to wanna to flip that one battery around and we'll just glue them together real quick just so that they don't go anywhere. I recommend using a flat head on your soldering iron so that it applies nice even heat. Uh, go ahead and apply some heat to your terminals and you should be able to pull off the old uh, connectors pretty easily. Do it for the bottom and also do it for the top. And there's our old battery. You know, you're going to want to make sure you dispose of that properly. I'm going to go ahead and clean these connectors with a little bit of white vinegar because I did see a little corrosion and then we'll neutralize them with some rubbing alcohol. You're also going to want to use a flux pen to uh, add some flux to your connections. The flux is gonna help the solder stick to, all, to everything and it's gonna clean the terminals on your batteries and clean and just get everything ready to be soldered. Apply a little bit of solder to each of the battery terminals on the top and on the bottom. And you're gonna have to heat the terminal up just a little bit to get the solder to stick. We'll also apply some solder to our connections, our connectors, and you can just use your soldering iron and heat that thing up just enough to get it to uh, liquefy and get a good connection going. Once you've soldered the top, solder the bottom as well. Make sure everything melts and is nicely connected. Okay, it's a good idea before you close it up to make sure it works. So we'll plug it in and yes, that's the flashing we wanted to see. A nice, consistent, solid flashing. So I'm happy with that. Now we're going to use uh, some of this heat shrink and we're going to shrink our battery just to kind of make it look fancy and clean. We'll get everything put back together and we'll get our handle snapped all back together. And don't forget to replace that screw on the bottom. 
All right, I've been charging this thing up for a little over an hour, so I'm too curious. I can't wait any longer. I want to power it up and see if it actually works. So, aha, we have life. It is doing its gimbly thing. I love it. Yes, success. Getting this working again has actually made me wonder, do I even need a gimbal in 2024? So in my next video, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this bad boy with some iPhones I have laying around and some action cameras I have, and we'll see if you even need it now with all the stabilization that cameras have these days. So check that out here when that's ready. That's about all the time we have for this video. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions about replacing the battery in your Zhiyun gimbal or just questions about cameras or gimbals or anything in between, please leave them below and we, well, we'll see you next time.